Ladies and gents, welcome back. There's been some backlash, or might I even say outrage, over the label given to the Canadian Broadcast Corporation on Twitter. And that would be, well, let's just get into it, the government-funded media label that was given to them. This is a tweet given out by uh, Pierre Polyev boasting about what he, amongst other people, were able to help lobby to get uh, Twitter to put this forward. Now, in recent times, this was given also to the BBC, NPR, and PBS, all government-funded media organizations. So many people called for CBC to be added to this list. CBC officially exposed as government-funded media. Now, people know that it's true Trudeau propaganda, not news. Sign here to save a billion dollars and to fund the CBC. That would be great, would it not? Now, CBC was not happy about this, saying Twitter's own policy defines government-funded media as cases where gov the government may have varying degrees of government involvement over editorial content. I don't know, maybe uh, to the tune of one point. Four billion dollars uh, might influence your editorial content. We all know that people don't want to bite the hand that feeds them, but they say that this is clearly not the case with CBC and Radio Canada. And of course, we all believe it, of course. Now, CBC Radio Canada also putting out there, uh, our journalism is impartial and independent. To suggest otherwise is just untrue. That is why we will be pausing our activities on Twitter and then uh, said the same thing in French. Now, uh, many people wanting to reply to this, uh, they turned off the replies because that's how uh, transparency works with government corporations in Canada. Now, nonetheless, many, many quote tweets. Now, a quote tweet, if you're not familiar with Twitter, is a way of replying uh, where you can tweet out your response with the with the uh, tweet below yours. And of course, I jumped on this one as goodbye CBC was trending, saying, pausing your activities on Twitter, uh, show us that you're serious. Delete all your accounts. <laughs> now, Justin Trudeau uh, jumping in and weighing in on this one, making a, uh, <laughs> turning this one into his usual brand of politics. And well, this is what he had to say. I think it says a lot about the Conservative Party of Canada. That they're choosing to constantly attack independent media organizations, journalists who are working hard to keep Canadians informed and support our democracy. CBC Radio-Canada uh, serves right across the country, delivers local news and local content in many regions of the country that, yes, has been challenged over the past years, but the idea of adding to that challenges and laying on by attacking this Canadian institution, attacking the culture and local content that is so important to so many Canadians, uh, really indicates uh, the values and the approach that Mr. Polyev is putting forward. Now, in all honesty, Justin Trudeau, only a short few years ago, had this to say about CBC. Now, you sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason, because we paid them $600 million. Now, well, and that was when they were only paying them $600 million. Now it's to the tune of one point. Four billion dollars, and then the next year, uh, one point two five million dollars. Now he continued his statement to uh, <laughs> throw some shade at American billionaires. And I think it is telling that in order to attack this institution that is important for many, many Canadians, he runs to American billionaires, the tech giants that they continue to defend in committee and in their, uh, in their approach on our legislation to make tech giants pay their fair share, conservatives are always there to defend them. So when they're trying to attack a foundational Canadian institution, the fact that he has to run to American billionaires for support to attack Canadians, says a lot 
It does say a lot. It says a lot about Justin Trudeau and who he knows who is American or maybe is not American. Even, uh, what was it, Jugmeet Singh jumping in on this one, <laughs> piling on. Pierre Polyev doesn't want you to know this. He's taking aim at the CBC backed by influential interests. Corporate media and tech giants owned by U.S. billionaires. He even enlisted one Elon Musk to help take down his Canadian broadcaster. Just in case you weren't wondering, if you were wondering which U.S. billionaire he was talking about. Well, they were both talking about Elon Musk. To which, uh, well, the internet exploded because, well, guess what? Elon Musk, who was born in Pret uh, Pretoria, South Africa, and briefly attended the University of Pretoria, before moving to Canada at age 18, acquiring citizenship through his Canadian-born mother. <laughs> of course, he is Canadian, was trending on Twitter, along with <laughs> along with Musk is Canadian. And while wow, just the hilarity ensues. Now, <laughs> it doesn't end there. It gets even funnier. News. This is from t uh, Twitter Daily News says the Canadian Broadcast Corporation has halted the use of its Twitter after being labeled government funded media. The public broadcaster says the label undermines its credibility <laughs> as if it needed the label to undermine its credibility. CBC's 2021 to 2022 annual report revealed that it received almost $1.4 billion, 70% of its funding from the federal government. Now, they get that figure by showing the revenue that they've pulled in from advertisement revenue versus what the government directly gave them. And that would be, well, it's that equaled 70%. Now, the CBC argues that it funds the other 30% on its own so it should not have the label <laughs> hi michael we are a government funded but that only covers a portion of our expenses advertising helps us cover the costs at all across all platforms so uh, elon musk saw this and uh jumped in there and said okay just to be accurate would it be okay if we said 70 percent government funded <laughs> their concern has been addressed and changed it to 70% government-funded media. Uh, of course, this didn't end there. Obviously, another Twitter user said 69%. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Elon Musk replying, good point. Generosity is always the right move. 69% it is. So... <laughs> Here we are with CBC labeled as 69% government media fund, or government funded media. And that's where we are with this. Now, uh, this, this is interesting. So according to the outlets 2021-2022 annual report, CBC received $1.24 billion in government funding in addition to $651 million in revenue. Mostly from advertising, CBC reported $1.39 billion in government funding and $504 million in revenue in 20 to 20, 2020 to 2021 fiscal year. Now, what was pointed out to me and I thought was pretty interesting by um, this <laughs> Twitter account here, Soul Freedom, was that CBC does not provide the list of advertisers to their article. In my opinion, federal government has spent Canadian taxpayer dollars on advertising through the pandemic. Freedom Convoy, uh, Convo indirect funding. So I replied to this. That's a really good point. I hadn't considered that of the 500 plus million that they receive in advertisement revenue, how much of that was government run ads? So they're getting these ads through the from, through the government and they're not disclosing just how much that is. Now, we may all be familiar with some of the government-run ads that we saw over the pandemic, and some of them were quite egregious. Here's one of them, for example. It's normal to wonder what's safe for your child. Now that COVID-19 vaccines are authorized for children aged six months and up, you probably have some questions. Information is available like how getting children vaccinated will increase their protection against severe COVID-19 outcomes and illness. Learn how COVID-19 vaccines help protect your child at canada.ca slash COVID-vaccine. A message from the Government of Canada. 
So a lot of these ads were shoved down our throats on CBC uh, broadcasts, but all, also on other, uh, other avenues. But this is, of course, the CBC giving their statement of what they received in ad revenue, but not disclosing how much of that ad revenue was actually funded by the government. So a lot of people calling the question, is the 69% government media, government funded media an accurate portrayal or should it be much higher? Should it be somewhere in the 70, uh, sorry, the 80 to 90% government funded media uh, <laughs> realm because of how much of the advertisement revenue that they get comes from the government itself? unbelievable but hey let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this whole scenario and <laughs> how funny this is playing out with the backlash over being called out for being essentially what they are government funded media anyway we'll see you in the next one keep on trucking